Nice chill vibes today, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. We're here to talk about news and all this stuff. But most of all, my jam stars. Salute to every one of y'all that got up this morning, hit that gym up, and did your thing, man. Hey, look, man. I want y'all to know, man, I'm proud of each and every one of y'all. People wonder why. People wonder why we get up on Saturday mornings and hit the gym while they sitting there going to sleep. We out here sweating. I'm talking about sweating like people be sweating on 2K. Check out my guy right here, man. This is my guy, Coyote. He said, just in case they want to cheese in real life, man. Y'all understand what I'm trying to tell you? These is the real gym stars. That's what keep my channel going, man. All the, hey, make sure y'all subscribe. Like the video. If you like the video. And subscribe for more daily 2K content, man. Do all of that stuff, man. But check it out, man. I want y'all to know that the show must go on no matter what happens. So let's get right into topic number one. Hey, check it out. Uh, topic number one is one of these things where it's like uh, life is cyclical and um, what goes around comes around. And it appears that Chalk DF is now receiving some of the same thing that he didn't understand why people felt like they felt in the beginning now a little while ago we reported on something where where j fox and chalk df there was a little beef there it wasn't really no beef um it was just that j fox was upset because people were tweeting about him he didn't care about people tweeting about him but somebody tweeted something about his daughter and chalk liked the tweet and so as a result j fox said if you like a tweet, y'all know the rules, man. I don't know. Do y'all live by different rules than we live by? If you like something that somebody, if somebody does some BS and you like it, it's just like you did it. It's just like you said it, but you ain't have the heart to say it. So because you ain't had the heart to say it, you're going to put a heart on it. To me, if you put a heart on it, that's just like you saying that you wanted to say it, but you just didn't have the heart to say it. To, to me, that's just how I am. Am I overreacting? I don't know. But. It seems that Chalk now has taken that same energy and he's learning like like in the beginning because when it happened, I called Jay Fox and said, Jay, was it that serious? He said, yo, Chalk didn't say nothing, but somebody said something about my daughter and he liked the tweet. So as far as I'm concerned, he's responsible for that too. You know, it's just like that's something that he really wanted to say. I understand that. And now Chalk seems to have adopted that same energy because here we go. Like I said, it's easy to say when you first start now, you know, why Why you gonna hold me responsible for this? Why you wanna hold? But when it all comes at you over and over, it's just like what Jay Fox says, say what you want about me, I'm fair game, I'm in this arena, I can really care less what you say about me. But kids, like, just like uh, Gilly was saying the other day, man, kids and kids and wives and stuff like that, that's off limits, man. Unless you do like your boy EJ, you do it funny, uh, you do you do something funny and entertaining, like that was different with the, with the TW thing, but, but y'all understand what I'm saying. Anyway, kids, wives, all that other stuff is off limits. Say what you want about me, I'm trash at the game, my YouTube channel dead, I don't got nothing going on for myself except for these, except for these guns right here something that matter you know what i'm talking about i'm, I'm in supreme condition shape y'all are kill y'all y'all half my age and will kill the half abs and stuff like this but you know I, I got all my hair i got all my faculties awesome career all that stuff but i am garbage at the game i'm not gonna lie to y'all i work from home every day and i don't even have to leave my house this is awesome this is a great life i provide for my family oh that's great but i'm garbage at the game and i don't got nothing going on youtube that's fine that's the least of my worries but anyway here we go chalk df he now has figured out that once you get into this arena and once you start, your popularity starts growing, hey, it gets a little bit different. These people out here are weird, my guy. And so now you're learning why people get so defensive about, about things that are around them. And uh, here we go. I'm sorry that my mic is acting like this. Like it just keep drifting down. I'm gonna have to get a new mic stand, but it is what it is. Chalk DF, sorry, I guess I should announce this. Yeah, you don't have to announce it. Uh, PSA, if I follow you, and you're liking tweets where people are talking down on me as a YouTuber, 2K player, or a human being. I give a damn about the, UK, the, the YouTube or the 2K player. I, give, I, give, I care about that. The human being part is what I care about, and that's the only thing he should care about too. But uh, you talk, or as a human being, you're, you're getting unfollowed. So, I, did, I mean, sorry I didn't, I didn't make this announcement before. Continue with your night. 
And then uh, dude said you soft, whatever. And then Chalk shows that later on in the DM, he come back and says, yo, what's up, man? Yo, I was just playing. Uh, you weren't soft. Uh, I wanted, I say, see, see, that's what I'm saying, man. I, I wanted, I just wanted you to see my comment, but I respect your grind. I hope you can run, I hope I can run it up with you sometimes. 99 glass, 86. See, look, most of the times when people say stuff like that, bro, they are just fans. Fans will say anything to get your attention, and then when they do, they, they come back. You know how many DMs and stuff I got like that where people come back and apologize after they say something outlandish just to get my attention? This mic is killing me! Cap! Cap, get me another mic, man! What are you doing, Cap? This mic, like, this ain't never been a problem before, Cap. And now all of a sudden, bro, I get you a new thing to like and subscribe, and here you go. Anyway, look, man. Uh... What was I just saying? Cap, boy, Cap, Cap. Hey, do we need to fire Cap? Because I don't know what he's doing today, man. But doggone Mike, the mic, the boom mic ain't supposed to be. This You got me looking like the happening where the boom mic was in the doggone, was in the doggone picture, my guy. Come on, Cap. Get it together, baby. Dang. Anyway, but like I said, y'all understand what I'm saying? See, like, like I said, you can, if you wouldn't do something, you wouldn't understand why another person would. And if you haven't reached that point in your, oh my God, this mic. If you haven't reached that point in your development, a lot of times people will do things and you'll be like, yo, why, why, why is that a problem? And then when you get to the point where you see why it's a problem, this mic is killing me, man. When you get to the point where you see why it's, Cap, your ass is fired, Cap. Anyway, um, effective immediately. Hey, Cap, you gone, man. Your ass is fired effective immediately, man. I'm gonna have to hold the mic like dirt for the rest of the thing, man. Dang. I don't even, I don't get this, man. Give a dude a job, he'll, he'll live for a day. Uh, give uh, Teach a man how to work, and he'll run out on you. Anyway, like I said, but bro, Cap, what are you doing? Like, Captain took the mic with him, man. Hey, look, man, hold on. Uh, how, how can I do this right here? Anyway, man, we gonna try to go along with this. Maybe I gotta hold the mic like dirt. I don't know. Look, just give me the mic. Just give me the mic and pat the draw. I can't even do it. Cap, what you hating? Get this out. Get this out the screen. Anyway, we gonna do it like this. Cap has been fired, and that's just it. But uh, we gonna do it like this for the rest of the time, man. Check it out. Uh, when you get into that arena and you understand what's going on and you really see firsthand how how stupid people can be, then you know we all change our tune, and that's all that happened here. Uh, like I said, it was cool when when you like to tweet saying something about Jay Fox's daughter because you didn't understand, you weren't in that headspace. Now, now that you're in that headspace, now we get to change the rules and you get to do the same thing. But like I said, as far as I know, I called Jay Fox. I was like, Jay, it might not be that serious. He might not understand. Um, Jay called him. I mean, Jay talked to him. And then, you know, they squashed the whole thing. And like I said, now he's adopted the same type of type of thing. So everybody's a work in progress. We all get to learn. And if you didn't understand why something was that serious um, at one time or another, now, now you know you might understand. And that's cool. It seems like he understands that and he's adopted that philosophy. I ain't got no problem with it, man. A man always reserved the right to change his mind, especially when you're in this arena. Like I said, it, something that wasn't serious two months ago, now it's really serious when all you're seeing is negativity about you like that's that's all to it but man hey look do your thing by godspeed hey hey and uh forget the haters man it is what it is man uh on to the next story man you got your boy your boy my boy duke dennis talking about he uh he was talking about the uh he talking about the 2k community and miscellaneous such as like that let's just hear what he had to say it's repetitive, but that ain't what we here for, all right? But a big part of that problem is y'all. And when I say y'all, I'm talking about the booters, the boosters, booters the and hackers, boosters. hackers, the delayers, the delayers. cheaters. If you do any of that, you are a part of the problem. Now, mm. every year, 2K got some glitches in the game that 2K should fix once they identify the glitches, but they don't. And that's, the, that's a problem that 2K creating, you know what I'm saying, 2K. Um, but then again, just because a glitch is out, it don't mean that you should do it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you still ruining the game for everybody else. Now, the demigod glitch, all the other glitches, mm. yeah, whatever. But the, the logo glitch is what really made me make this video. Now, mm. 
it's a lot of YouTubers, bro, who put that work in for that logo. Whether it's late nights, streaming late nights, put in hours and hours to grind toward that logo. Mm. And once they finally get to a certain point, 2K okay. be like, all right, boom. Appreciate you for, for repping us. Here go the logo. Keep doing what you're doing. That's just what I take from it. But now you got Timmy's and Jimmy's with 100 subs, 1,000 subs, 5,000, 10,000, even 20,000 subs, bro, mm. who ain't put that work in yet, and they and they doing a logo glitch just to do it. Basically, what I'm saying is y'all be ruining shit, bro. The 2K mm. community love ruining Got an interesting thought about it. Y'all be watering down shit for other people. Y'all be ruining Bro, y'all just be ruining shit. And y'all mm. play a big part in why the game is the way that it is. <laughs> hey, okay, so look. Does the 2K community play a huge part in why the game is the way that it is? Of course they do. We already know that it's not the game. It's just like we used to say back in the day with Call of Duty. It's not really the game, it's the community. It's people that want to sit around and camp. They don't want to move. They want to do, and look, play the game the way that you want to play the game. But everybody reserve the right to play the game the way that they want to. I reserve the, way, I reserve the right to not like it at all. But I do understand what you're saying about the glitches, the booters, all that stuff. I could care less about a logo glitch. That's not giving you an advantage. That's not helping anything. That don't do anything for anybody. I don't care about that. Um, especially the mentality that you know, like other, you got people with 10, 20, 30,000 subs, whatever, whatever. Bro, listen, I got 75,000 subs. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. You don't think I put in work? Like your sub count don't mean that's the amount of work you put in. It just means that what you're doing may not be a wave that anybody's looking for. You got dudes down there with, uh, it's, there's a dude named Good Sports. Uh, that, that that he got 165,000 subs, right? Uh, Good Sports. He he does amazing videos, way better than anything that anybody in the 2K community is doing. So he's not putting in work. Like he's not a 2K YouTuber, but I'm just saying. Just the sub count mean that you putting in work. That don't mean anything. Dan the Nerds, awesome channel. I watch that all the time. They don't have a bunch of stuff. They got they got barely 100,000 subs. They're not a good channel. They're not putting in work. I don't understand that mentality that just because you, your sub count means that you're putting in work. That's that's that, that's that's a bad mentality to have because that makes people think that, that success is tied to your sub count. And, it, and I mean, I guess you could say financial success is, but the rest of it, it really, it really is not. But the least of my worries is that 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 thing above your head they don't give you an advantage it don't do anything it doesn't affect the game in any way glitchers booters and boosters that's the thing bro i'm watching people on twitch play games 3v3 pro-am matchups it doesn't impact your record it doesn't it, it doesn't impact your record and it doesn't uh and you get rep for it and they're just sitting here playing those games over and over and over and over and over because they know that it does like things like that are still in the game. The demigods are still in the game. All these things are still in the game. We worry about a logo glitch. Like that's that's the one that sets you off. To me, it would have been the demigod glitch that set me off or the tendencies glitch or the things that actually are actually ruining the game. Now, if you had a mentality that the game is dead and you really don't care about the game, maybe that's not what you would be, maybe that is, you know, when what you wouldn't be worried about. So you are thinking about that. But for a lot of us, the game ain't dead. The game ain't dead for me. This is one of the most fun 2Ks I've played in a long time. I'm not gonna sit here and let people keep saying that this game is dead and it's over and all that just because you don't like it. It, it, it is what it is. We all got different tastes. We all don't like Halle Berry. I do. You might like. Like you said, we had the poll yesterday, Aruba Jasmine or, or Aruba Jasmine or uh, Angelina Castro. I said, I took Angelina Castro. Some people like Aruba Jasmine. We like different things. We got different tastes. This game is more popular or just as popular as it has ever been, especially by views and all of this stuff. But just because, you know, to, to me, to me, 18 was dead. I played Fortnite the majority of 14. 19 was trash to me, and look at how many people blew up in 19. So we can't sit here and say, say just, well, you know, you can't say, well, it's just dead, it's dead to me. But, you know, I understand what you're saying, but the least of your worries should be the logo glitch. Nobody cares about that. You shouldn't care about it. You should be caring about all the other glitches that's in the game, and let's get the game in a playable state, and then we can determine whether or not it's trash or how trash it is or whatever like that. I don't know, am I tripping? 
Is the logo glitch that that bad? Do y'all like the logo glitch? I don't care. I really, I really don't care. I seen somebody with A Rogers 12 with a football above his head, and I know that wasn't Aaron Rodgers the other day. But for somebody to do the logo glitch, you have to have somebody on your, you have to have somebody's account on your PlayStation that has a logo. So obviously the people that are doing it are cool with it, or that are allowing the people to do it, they're cool with it. Or maybe they're just getting broke off and getting paid. I don't know. It is what it is, but I just think that's the least of our worries right now. Right now, we gotta be worried about fixing the game. Damn, a logo glitch. Take the logos out the game for all I care. I don't care about that stuff, man. Put in work and all that. Put your work in, they can recognize you. You getting recognized, you getting financial gain. You richer than, than most people ever gonna be in their life. You making off of one or two videos what some people making a month. It is what it is. That should be enough. I don't care about no logo. I just want the game to be in a functional state so that we can play and some other people can rise to the top and do what they want to do. But this is just like 2K18, where a lot of a lot of people were like it's dead. They threw salt on it, threw dirt, salt at the sand, and then you know the people that enjoyed it, they really couldn't grow. But like I said, Tysino and Duke grew during that time. So if you're doing 2K videos, keep doing it because now's the time to do it because the most popular people are saying that the game is bad. We had the whole hashtag, no VC spent, all that stuff, man. But hey, look. Do what you do. I love Duke. Duke, one of them cats, but I just think he's wrong on this one. People can disagree and not have no beef. I don't understand why people think that just because you don't have the same opinion as somebody else, that it's got to be some type of beef, but it is what it is. Anyway, like I said, I seen people boosting this morning on Twitch, playing, playing matchup games over and over, no impact to their record, and then they just, and they getting ripped. Like, how is that fair? Is that cool? Uh, is that even boosting if, if it's a mutual matchup? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know, man. Anyway, that's all I really got for y'all this morning. Y'all let me know uh, what it should be. Should I bring Cap back? Should Cap stay fired because he couldn't get the mic right? Or what's going on? I don't know, man. Y'all got to let me know. Subscribe if you're new. Um, run with your boy for more daily 2K content. Let me know what other kind of videos I should put up. And if you have made it this far, I need to know. Daisy Marie or hmm let's think of somebody else daisy monree daisy marie or rose monroe and it rose monroe let's see let's see rose mon rose i think that's what her name is yeah daisy marie or rose monroe that's all i need to know i ain't gonna tell you i'm gonna put mine down in the comments i ain't gonna lie man i don't even think i can make I don't even think I can make a decision between these two. But uh, Daisy Maria Mose, Rose Monroe, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments. I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all let me know next time. Till next time. Hey, is Chalk just growing or is it a hypocritical thing? I think he's just growing. He's he just growing. And uh, what do y'all do? Y'all agree with Duke about the uh, about the, about the the uh, logo glitch being the most? Or or do we we don't give a damn about that logo glitch? We just need the game to be fixed. That's how I feel. And I, and I think Chalk just growing as a person and like it took somebody like Jay Fox to let him to open his eyes to the era of his ways and now he's adopted those ways and I don't think those ways are wrong. Y'all let me know, man. I'm gonna get up out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Hey, look, Cap, we gonna talk about this, man. Maybe it wasn't so fault that the mic was messing up, man. We gonna, we gonna figure it out, man. Yeah. But as of right now, your ass is fired.